Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Trafficking 101 with Kaelvin. I'm your lovely host, Kaelvin. If you couldn't guess. Uh, alright. So. We're getting there. But we need... We need to figure out a way here. So, let's uh, test out what this does for the system. So, by making this... By making, effectively, separate exits for everything here. There we are. Good. Okay. It looks like traffic is resolved, to be honest. Although I... They're not trying to invoke Lord Murphy and his great law, but, um... Seems alright. Now... For the Peace de la Resistance... We merge with the already created... Infection. There. To create... A secondary bleed. Should fix all of the problems that we've been experiencing. However, yeah, I would need a doohickey here. Can that not loop around to be at the same intersection in question? There we are. Perfect. <clears throat> and it works. Traffic bleeds off over time. We have the exit and release valve here. It allows traffic back into the central system. And thanks to, uh, you know, our various systems over here. Seems to be coping just barely. How's this system? I'm not certain if this is a fault of just too much traffic coming in or what, but work on it. Uh huh. particular problem. A rather dicey intersection at that. Definitely we seem to be uh, losing problems. Alright, so the first thing, I think I know how to fix this. I think I know how to fix some of these problems that we're having. God only knows those buses were clogging up a lot. And weren't really doing much. Okay. The system is buckling here, unfortunately. Even the reduction to half the number of intersections is simply not enough to handle the inflow of traffic. And we're gonna try something. We're gonna make this one way. Or alternatively, we make it not exist. But we would need some sort of bleed. Of that there. 
and only there. I'm actually thinking this thing is hurting all the traffic here. And I'm hoping that, you know, this will reduce the car income. But it's unfortunately not. So, to that avail. That was awesome. <laughs> that was just awesome that I just flew down and did that. Uh, but if it doesn't fail at that intersection, it fails at the next. Where are these cars going? To the residential, it would seem. The cars just seem to pile up until they reach this intersection. At which point it leads off. Actually, the system's recovering a bit. It's still got a lot of backup, though. And deep down inside, I already know how to fix a lot of this problem. Because I've already done it on the other side. Alright. So similarly... We know various uh, setups here. For the ins and outs, as it were. Alright. I think we're ready for this. So. Blow that up. The place was six lane road. Demolish. All of the side streets. Uh, wait, was that a proper, like, six way one way? No, it wasn't. My bad. Better. Alright. Okay. And now we will do this. There, that does that. Perfect. Alright, so we've just systematically reduced the number of intersections, improved overall efficiency of the system. Good. Commercial, good. Just kind of a blank spot there. That's okay. Um, that's okay. We'll just uh, throw this here. And there. Now proper zonage can take place. Excellent. And rezone all of this to be higher density, because high density is the way of the future. I don't even know how the fuck there was industry there, but oh well. Good. Now. With any luck, the traffic will be reduced to a degree. I put the, the uh, roads in wrong. Whoops. They're backwards. Yes, yes they are. Whoops. This road, no, oops. This road goes here. This road goes here, and to help this situation, this road goes here. 
All right. Weird industry squares all over the place. Why? I don't know. All right. Come forth. Great traffic gods. The problem I'm seeing now is there's a build-up there. This, I don't just don't think this one road can take it all. Maybe, or perhaps more relief valves are needed. The solution all along has simply just been add more relief to the system. Allow the system. Totally put that in the wrong way. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we are. Good. So now people can enter on this side. Uh, which again, should further reduce the amount of cars coming in here. Which is jamming the system without question. Okay, to help reduce traffic. There. Make it longer. Must feel like it should come out here, actually. It probably should. In fact, yeah, it should. There. The relief system works. Should bypass that, because there's very little traffic that actually gets through to this side. The problem now still remains that there is a lot of build-up at the entry point here. stoplight yet, and uh, they're all just capable of merging together into a uh, sort of stoplight thing. Well, that kind of worked. Looks like the relief program over here has worked to a degree. It's handling the uh, system a little better. And uh, we're looking good, actually. It seems like traffic problems have been to a degree solved. Um, we still have some other problems. But, oh. Was I just looking too far away or something? Probably. No. <laughs> Even from the closest point which I can see traffic, it looks like a mess. There's just a moment's break, I suppose, or something. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm honestly not certain how to handle it. I mean, uh, I'm thinking some sort of multi... I think it's, yeah, it's just this, this one main street isn't capable of handling this population with uh, without any worse traffic. It's the best I can do. The ultimate thing comes down to the fact that the whole thing was flawed from the start, unfortunately. <laughs> However, 
I've done what I can and I've learned. And that is what is important. One must learn. Decorative. Let's get decorative. That's bad. Thing. All right, so that's the magic point. Cool. All right. So, you can see where I'm going with this new design, and I hope you will like it. See more of it next time on City Skylines. I've been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.